Nitrocell eCommerce presents the Amazon Mapping Interface. The Amazon Mapping Interface in your Web Store Manager is a powerful utility for changing or making exceptions to suit the diversity of your products. Before we begin, please ensure you have watched and understand the Creating PAM Attributes and Field Mapping tutorial. First, let's familiarize ourselves with the interface. On the left, we see a column labeled Store. This is the selector for the entire store, specific department, category, or subcategory level mappings. On the right is the field mapping area, where we see the six groups of mappings which can be edited. For example, I'll select the apparel department, and then expand the inventory table to see where this department's inventory levels are mapped. Two key components here are whether a mapping is required, and if so, whether that mapping is complete. If you've completed the initial Amazon Mapping Wizard, the fundamental required mappings have already been made. By selecting any of these remote fields, we can see what that current mapping is, and if it was inherited from the parent assignment, such as the global store level assignment. For this demonstration, let's assume that some items in two specific categories need special pricing. Otherwise, the standard POS price applies. To implement this change, we first need to create an attribute in PAM to house these alternative special prices. Then, select an unused marketplace field in SYNC to house a case statement to identify when that price field has been used, and if so, to use that price, or else, fall back on the POS price. Finally, we need to map our custom mappings from SYNC to the appropriate categories in the Amazon Mapping Interface. To begin, I'll open PAM and create a new float attribute named AMZ Price. This is where prices should be entered if they're different than that of the POS price. Next, I'll open NSC Sync or Server Sync. I see Marketplace Text 2 is available, so I'll write a basic case statement so that if any value is present in the AMZ price, then it will be uploaded to the storefront. Otherwise, the regular POS price will be uploaded. This is expressed as case when AMZ price is greater than zero, then AMZ price, else price, end. Simply put, if during a synchronization, Marketplace Text 2 encounters an item with an AMZ price which is greater than zero, then it will send that value up. Otherwise, it will send the POS price. Our last step is to map our special pricing in the Web Store Manager Amazon Mapping Interface. I'll open the Amazon Storefront Interface and select Data Mapping. For this example, our only categories which have these special prices are bags and sweatshirts under the apparel department. By selecting apparel and then bags in the left column and expanding the price table in the right column, I see that the standard price is required and complete. Selecting standard price, we can see that the current mapping is POS price and that it was inherited from either the department or from the global store mapping. Remembering that we used Marketplace Text 2 for our special prices, I'll select it from the drop-down menu. In a matter of seconds, the new mapping is automatically saved and a message is displayed confirming this. Now we'll move on to the sweatshirt category and repeat the process. Using these examples, you now have the ability to modify and customize mappings across your Amazon storefront. This concludes the Amazon mapping tutorial. For more information, see the Nitrocell forum or contact support through the ticket system. Thank you for watching. Nitrocell e-commerce, helping you succeed online.